Hi everyone, welcome back to yet another Drupal tutorial. Today we are diving into a crucial part of maintaining high quality code in your Drupal projects. We will be setting up PHP code sniffer that is the PHP CS and the PHP code beautifier and fixer that is the PHP CBF. To adhere to the Drupal coding standards, let's get started. First, let's understand what these tools are. PHP CS is a PHP package that detects violation of coding standards, while the PHP CBF can automatically fix many of these issues. Together, they help ensure that your code is clean and the consistent. Before we set up a PHP CS and the CBF for our Drupal, we need a composer a dependency manager for PHP. If you have not installed it yet, for that go to the getcomposer.com and download the composer. So for that just go to download. You can download the composer setup.exe file or you can download using the commands. Once the composer is ready, then go to your command line so I am using the git bash for writing the commands and check if the composer is installed or not. So here you can see in my machine the composer is installed and its version is 2.1.8. Next we will install the PHP CS and the PHP CBF via composer. For that we need to install the Drupal coder module. Go to the drupal.org install this module coder module using the composer if you check the source code of this module in the composer.json so this model required the these two libraries as well slave mat coding standards and the squeeze lab php code sniffers so we don't need to install these two libraries separately it will get automatically downloaded while downloading the Drupal coder module. Now we will download this module using the composer. Again go to the git bash and into the root directory of your projects. Write the command composer require Drupal slash name of the module. So we will download the coder module. So it will download the all required libraries here you can see coding standard and the php coding snippers these libraries also will get downloaded along with this module the module is downloaded successfully now if you go to the your vendor directory of your project inside vendor pin here you can see the php cs and the php cbf libraries are added now our setup is done i will check the php coding standards using the php cs command for that write the command as a vendor bin php cs and in which folder you want to check the php coding standard so i want to check the php coding standards in my custom module so in the modules folder i have one custom folder in which i have created these two custom modules so i will give the path of those modules so modules slash custom and hit the enter button you can see in the my module src controller user display control file here we are getting some warnings related to the coding standards like the end of line character is invalid and missing file document comment but these coding standards are for the php not for the drupal standards so to check the coding standards for the drupal we need to add extra parameters in our command so for that the command will be like vendor bin php cs hyphen hyphen standard equal to drupal 
so it will check the coding standards for the Drupal now here you can see initially in that file there were around 13 errors was found but after adding the Drupal coding standard you can see there are only seven errors are found now I will show you how to fix these errors using the PHP CBF command so we will fix the errors inside this controller user display controller first I will open that file in my model src user display controller now I will run the CBF command so for that command it's vendor bin php cbf hyphen hyphen standard equal to drupal and the path of our file modules custom my module src controller and the user display controller enter so here you can see a total of seven errors were fixed in one file now go to our file controller file and we'll check the which coding standard related issues are fixed by the php cpf command so here you can see the one new line is added here and another error was missing the class document comment so the comment line is added we can add our comment related to the class the display class same way for the function as well the document is added so here we can add the comment for the function display user and also of closing the class press the new line is added and at the end of the file as well the new line is added in our controller file now again we will check the coding standard for this file so for that command will be phpcs and the path of our file so for this file now there is no error right now here you can see we need to write the command with these parameters like hyphen hyphen standard equal to drupal and the path of our files or the modules so how can we optimize like if i just enter this command only vendor bin php cs it should check the coding standards in the provided files so for that just go to the one more module that is the drupal php cs module copy the code which is there in this file and create the new file in the root directory of our project phpcs.xml I will move it to the root directory of our projects in this file I will paste this code remove these lines and here you can see it is already mentioned to which files it should ignore so it will ignore .css, .md, .txt also if you want to add any other file you can add here after that mention the path in which folder you want to check the coding standards so generally we write the custom code in a models custom directory or the in the themes custom directory so right now i don't have any custom theme so i will just add the theme folder i have provided the mo custom models path here save this file and now in this file again you can see the coding standards which we want to check or already mentioned drupal and the drupal practices so now the we just need to run the command like this vendor bin and the phpcs no need to provide the whole path and this standard equal to drupal because we have set these parameters in this phpcs.xml file so here you can see we are now getting again this coding standard related errors or the warnings 
from this particular custom models directory and that's it you have successfully set up php cs and the php cba for a drupal coding standards this will help you maintain clean readable and a consistent code please don't forget to like the video and subscribe our channel for more drupal related content thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial